and welcome to CAU TV News Break. I'm Sheena Gatson. Severe damage figures from Hurricane Ike still continue to show up weeks after the devastating storm hit the Houston area. Reports indicate more than half of the apartment complexes in Houston, Texas were destroyed by the hurricane. According to reports, more than half of Houston residents are renters and many suffered wind damage, torn off roofs and fallen walls. Hurricane Ike hit the, co the Texas coastline in September of this year. The Clark Atlanta chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity hosted a women's only seminar to discuss relationship issues amongst college students. Newsbreak's Kanae Anderson has a story. The Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity of Clark Atlanta University hosted a brother to sister seminar to discuss how to develop a relationship in college. One of the things I try to tell students in college is the most important thing is to keep the relationship in perspective. You can't think that at 18 and 19 that you're going to have this serious relationship with no drama because it's unrealistic. So make sure you keep it in perspective. But okay, so then let's say you're dating someone and y'all are going to say we're going to be committed. The key is honesty, integrity, in character. You have to observe those things in him or in her. You have to make sure that she's an honest woman, that she's operating in integrity, and that she has character. But the most important thing, in my opinion, that a lot of people fight me on is accountability. James Carey, a member of Alpha Phi Alpha, noted the importance of the event. We had this event uh, basically to see like what was the women's feedback or how we felt like healthy relationships should be, how a man should be in a relationship, how a female should be in a relationship. We got a good turnout, got some great feedback. We had uh, one of the bros and one of the sororers that uh, graduated back in 95 to come back and uh, have their view and their speak on and their current councils of marital relationships. So I think it was a good turnout and it all worked out for the best. Be sure to look out for more brothers and sisters seminars on the campus of Clark Atlanta University. I'm Kane Anderson, Newsbreak 23. A Georgia man has been given three death sentences for killing his family. We have this report and more when we return after the break. Mom? Dad? How long should I wait for you? If I'm at soccer practice. What if something happens? Will you come get me? There's no reason not to have a plan in case of a terrorist attack. Should we go to the neighbor's house? And some extremely good reasons why you should. Can you tell me? Talk to your family about what you would do in case of an emergency. For more information, visit www.ready.gov. On Monday, a man received three death sentences from a Georgia jury after being convicted for maliciously killing his wife and two-year-old twin sons. According to reports, Clayton Ellington brutally murdered his 31-year-old wife and sons with a hammer at their residence in Lithonia. Court officials say the photos were dramatic, showing the bodies of the children dead in a bed of their own blood. Reports say that Ellington wanted out of the marriage because of his involvement with a new girlfriend. BET sponsored a Fly Girls Can Vote event on the campus of Clark Atlanta University. Newsbreak's Erica Harding has a story. Voting day right around the corner, BET hosted Hip Hop Women for Change. This event was held right here on CAU's campus to encourage young women to vote. We all know college students kind of tend to be like, oh, well, what can I do? I can't really do anything. I'm going to go to my dorm room and eat my noodles and just do my own little thing. And it's not about that because when you're in college, you have a platform. A university is a big, humongous platform because when university students talk, people listen because they know the most, they're out in the world, they see what's going on. So this is not a year for you to be like, oh, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do because you do know what you can do. You can go out and vote. Brown University professor Trisha Rose spoke about why it's important to know the history of the country when making a decision during election time. That's what I really want to inspire all my students and anybody else I talk to to be, is to be a student of our history, not in a boring sense of just gathering facts, but to know what we're up against last month and last year and, and a decade ago, because that's going to help us decide. I'm Erica Harding, Newsbreak 23. Thank you for tuning in to CAU TV Newsbreak. Calling your comments and news suggestions to 404-880-8909. Join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Sheena Gadsden.